Check him out. Brilliant, brilliant. So there you go guys, there's the channel. Go and check this guy out. Bye. I'd love to go in, you know. Do you know what? I'm gonna see how much it is, guys. Oh. Um, I'll tell you what, right, I wonder if I'm allowed to film, I'm going to ask that question, if I'm allowed to film inside I will take you right through this place guys, hopefully the answer is yeah, let me ask this fella now, am I allowed to film inside? Absolutely sir. Oh thank you so much, right guys I'm going to cut it there, um, Pay my way in and show you around this this place. Hang on a minute. Who are you two, who's on the other end of the guys? Uh, YouTube. YouTube, right. Well, you need to film me then, don't you? Right. Okay. Because you need a, you need a location shot. You need you need the guide. Right? Well, you can you can be my thumbnail actually for the video. If I can just get right. You tell me action and I'll... Right, I'll cut it there guys, two secs. Right guys, in I go. Okay guys, in I go, let's show you around, okay? There's the bell. Okay, obviously it's very dark, but I hope you can see, uh, right, I'm guessing he's pointing this way. Just drop your comments below, guys. is heavy. Shackles. Ah. Blacksmiths. Can hear some commentary in the background. Bishop's room. Um, 
this is the actual site of the prison, guys. The clink. This was the real deal, and it's there. Got um, iron structure here. Looks like original wood. I had rather die than be of that disposition. Master vowed that he'd take out an action of trespass in the court of the Bishop of Winchester in Southwark, intending to have me find such a great sum that I could not pay and would be forced to do his desire. Sir, I have not been kept here in prison these three weeks and do beg that my case may be heard at the Chancery. Just going to let you enjoy it, guys, rather than minaret. Butler, in the year of our Lord, 1473. Nowhere. I think conditions were better in these days than they are today, to be honest with you. Freaky. Petition from Ellen Butler to the Lord Chancellor. Sir, I do charge that Thomas Bowd, an inholder of the Stew's side, did recently come to London and meet with me in a good man's house there. He asked me if I would enter his service. The wife of the house asked the ball and chain, guys. saying that it were great arms that well. I had a good master and mistress to abide with them and do such service as I could. Master Bowd asked me to come with him to see his house upon liking. So upon trust and by means of the said wife, I went with Bowd to the riverside to go to and brought me to his house. God, imagine this, guys. There's actually some coins in there. There's no rush really, I'll just show you as much as I can. I don't need to say much, guys. Nothing changes, does it? Nothing changes.
Fantastic guys. Manacles. Fox's Book of Martyrs. It's like a tiny Bible. Some of you might be familiar with these names. There's the Globe Theatre guys, what I've just shown you earlier on. So that's the inside structure of it. Um, so this actual model itself was made over 100 years ago. can't see that proper, I don't think, but... Um, like the guard, what the guards use as weapons. That beautiful door there. Hope you're enjoying this one, guys. It's got a quite an eerie feel about it, down here. It's an apple corer um, from the 1600s, horse fur, pepper grinder. Look at that, I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's quite beautiful that is. That's a pepper grinder from... Uh, it doesn't give a year of when that was made, but it's quite beautiful that. Some dyes, some a lead fuming pot and a wool comb and all the reflections and right. I'm not sure what that says. Right, through another doorway. Um, um, I'm trying to close this bit, what? Anyway. There you go. It's like the electric chair. Yeah, that is metal. I don't know if you can see that, guys. I'll see if I can hold it upright, then you get a better idea. Of... It's quite heavy. I can't actually hold it on the camera. Let's try it this way now. Yeah, that is heavy. I not like that put around my head. Look at this iron pillar here, guys. Very old. So that must have gone round the neck, right? I'm thinking. And you've got these here. Um, guys, let me know. I'm trying to look for a, an information thing. Oh, here we go. Gosh. The catch pole, which is this. That is long. So, um, I can see the mechanism. Um, it's 
that's what that was about. Creepy stuff, guys. sound effects. <laughs> wow, imagine this. The rack. Ouch. Oh, that looks even worse, doesn't it? What's that one? There's manacles again. Some kind of bowie knife or something. Is that original? Water torture. Imagine that. Oh gosh, that's some weight. Look at this. Hang on. Right, inside the Right, where my, where my fingers are, you can see spikes. You see them? Ouch. So what one was, was that for? The neck or? The collar. Weighted collar. Well, that's that, I think. But, oh no, that would be that as well then. Then you've got the ball and chain. Um, chastity belt. There you go. Where it is. Uh, the strapado. Uh, I don't think you're running away with, uh, with those on. The boot. The thumb screws. More manacles, more chains, more iron. 
and off off with the heads and that's what they used to do yeah they used to stick them on a pole in the middle of town I think somewhere and if you look on the foreheads you see that they've been branded whether that's the initial of the name or not, I don't know. You've got an M, a H, a V, and a B. Uh, the ducking scoots, uh, stool, all kinds of torturous methods, guys. Can you imagine that all day? Freaky. So what's that then? Whipping frame. Flintlock pistol replica. The axe head. Look at that for a padlock. A bolt hook. Cat of nine tails. like a cell because um got the spy over got the hatch food hatch um so we got the stocks yeah you know there's still um one or two of these things hanging around in some old towns you know The drunkard's claw. All right. Oh my God, how the hell did they hold these up? And fight with them. So much to show you. Fifteenth century. Imagine that. Just left to rot. Hang in there. So we've had pirates as well on the Thames. Cromwell. Cromwell's chilling. 
these are reproductive coins. They're not they're not genuine. You've got your clay pipes, more manacles. You've got um, knife, fork, pewter spoon, pewter plate. I'll just let you read it, guys, and soak all this in. Cause it... So the rat man. Never brought the theatres back home. The rose swarmed the globe and oak. Put that one up when the first globe burned down. And did plays and then bears and bulls did that one. Huge, I remember them. Of course, I was only a child then. Flags up for a performance and cannons firing, trumpets even. And great crowds of folk. Rich pickings if you was little and fast on your feet. <laughs> There's the chopping block. Being the keeper's larder, I oh, look to you. <laughs> Make him powerful angry, it would have been you his pies at the task for keeping my old bones alive. Doesn't have any time for his jailer's work anyhow. Makes his money on the wolf like everyone else does these days. <laughs> charity this place. Mine, there's no jail fever. Right. Now it is dark. it guys I think with the looks of it so do I have a medley uh, just check your names out there guys I've seen a documentary about this one. Amelia Dyer. All right. Hello. Fantastic. Very pleased to hear that. Celtic Cross. Um, you already have the trails of dividing attack. Free photo. Is this what the actual cells were like? Some of them probably. Some of them. Oops. Don't know if you can see this, guys. I'll just reverse. Don't know if you can see that. Um. What we do know from contemporary accounts is that the configuration of the inside of the prison changed right. over the 300 years of its existence. They had the builders in more than once. I see. Yeah. Um. Just because the society that was 
sending in the prisoners was changing its rules and sending people in for different reasons. No? I think I've cocked that one up. Oh. I'm just having my photograph taken, guys, inside this cell. I'll show you what it's like when it comes out. So I'll put this hat on. I'll work that way. Try again. That screen there is going to take my picture. I don't know if that's turned out guys, but I'll find out in a sec. Shit, I can't get out. <laughs> I'm joking. Right. So, you've seen it guys, come and pay a visit. It's worth every penny. You can hear the owl there. Worth every penny, it's fantastic. This is the guy who gave me permission to film inside. Be sure to come and visit us at the Clink on Clink Street in Southwark. We're open every day except Christmas Day. Though you heard it, guys. So get yourselves down here. I've had a brilliant time. I'm going to head uh, back to Kilburn now. I'll just walk you out of the building. I can't find my name on there. But... And that's it. That is the Clink Prison Museum.